Right, I started with a photo that I took of two boats, put it into Photoshop, worked on it, desaturated, inverted, etc., and transferred the image onto Lino. The easiest way to do that is to print it out with a laser printer or use a photocopier. Uh, the ink then stays on the top of the paper, which means you can turn it over, put it on your lino, and use a solvent technique, which is either a blender pen, or you use blotting paper soaked in uh, acetone, rub it on. That then leaves a copy on your lino, which you can cut from. The beauty is that it will be already inverted, so you don't have to worry about transferring the image into the opposite uh, sense. Then you just start cutting. This is cut once, I then cover it in a fine layer of ink, wipe off. That way I can see where the next cuts need to go, which you can see are slightly lighter around here. Rather than running off a separate print, getting the uh, lino wet and having to wash it, I tend to use a piece of newsprint with a wax crayon just to go over to see if I need to work on it any more or less. So for cutting I just need to put some extra water lines, some extra reflections in because I can see from my original image that there's not quite enough detail in some of these open areas. I'm using probably two different sorts of tools, a very fine V-cut and a slightly rounded cut as well. Always cutting away, keeping your fingers out of the line of the tool and then just cut in. Here I'm trying to get some very fine lines just to reflect the outline of the boat. You can move your lino around, in fact it's probably best to do that rather than trying to move the tool around. Uh, you can refer to your original picture. Again, it's worth making sure that you have a copy of the picture that is in the same orientation, otherwise you're working from a mirror image and it's very difficult to uh, orientate yourself on the lino. Uh, I sometimes use a soldering iron to actually burn out areas of lino or a small Dremel drill with different attachments on. Again, that gives you more texture. This is a fairly linear type of uh, photo, therefore I'm just using lino cut tools. Um, I tend to use the feel type ones, the Swiss made wooden handles. They are very easy to use, but superb quality cutting blade and you can resharpen them as well. So the next stage for this is to run off the print. Right, inking up. The ink's too dry or the weather is a little bit hot. You may need to put on a small amount of extender or you can actually use um, raw linseed oil. Just a small amount. Work it in. sure that any oil you use with the ink is well incorporated into the ink. And then choose a suitable roller. see an orange peel gloss to the ink. It's probably too thick. What you can do is just transfer that onto another piece of perspex or glass just to get the right thickness. You can see there there's less of an orange peel. In fact it's slicker and it's not making a sticky tack noise, so that's probably okay. 
ideally you should be using a roller that is the width of your block. But I haven't got one to hand. So you have to work carefully to make sure you get rid of any vertical or horizontal lines by using a smaller roller. If there's not enough ink, go to the thicker ink and then work it back into the smaller plate. Once you're happy that you've got an even coat of ink on your block, and there's no vertical or horizontal lines, you then prepare and press 